All right, JR Elite Sail Plan Programming Part 2. We're going to go over setting up wing camber, or you can think of it as trailing edge presets for various flight modes. So we'll click into um, our menu here, and we're going to go to the first, uh, on the first function page, camber system and we have this uh, display here and up here we have our flight mode listed so basically you can think of this as trailing edge presets for each flight mode so if I flick into different flight modes thermal one thermal two you'll see we can change these presets for each one so cruise, cruise we're gonna leave alone we'll do a uh, preset for thermal one so we'll just go in here and we'll click on left aileron and we'll enter some values here. I'll over exaggerate these so uh, maybe we'll go 20% and we'll go to right aileron and we'll do 20% uh, that's the wrong way. and same with our flaps try to line up the trailing edges somewhat but it's not too critical just for this purpose here so now you can see in thermal one we have some camber preset built in here and if I click to cruise, cruise. It, it'll go back to our normal cruise setting thermal one so let's go into thermal two Thermal two. And we'll do the same thing here. Maybe we'll give it uh, some more, just kind of over exaggerate. Same thing with our flaps. So we basically have a uh, we have more camber in thermal too. Now if I toggle between thermal two and thermal one, thermal one. and then to cruise, cruise. you can see our cruise. trailing edge presets changing. We can also go to speed mode speed. and do one for speed. So that would be some reflex. And now if I click back out of speed into cruise, you can see our trailing edge move. I'll put a little more in this guy just to try to line them up somewhat. So we have speed, which is some reflex, cruise, cruise. thermal one, thermal, one. thermal, thermal two. two. That's essentially it. Uh, very very simple okay now if we want we can put a delay into our camber presets and this can be helpful because it sort of tames down uh, abrupt attitude changes when you're flipping between flight modes so let's try this let's click into thermal one thermal one and we'll just do we'll just do a second that might be a little too slow but we'll see what happens so cruise. go to cruise it goes fast Thermal one, thermal one, slow. So if you were to go to cruise, cruise and put a second in there too, in and out of thermal one should be slow. Thermal one, cruise. See that? And thermal we'll, one. We'll do thermal, thermal two, two, just so you can get an idea of how it would work between thermal one, various flight modes. Cruise. Thermal. There you go, simple as that. That basically really completes um, the presets in the camber system. Now, since we're using flight modes here, you really have to set up flight modes to take advantage of multiple trailing edge res uh, presets. And if we were to um, 
go back to the main menu here. Uh, you could use your elevator trim Thermal one. right here to trim Thermal two. each flight mode. Thermal cruise. Now some people still would like to use a slider to get variable camber. Um, and you can do that with this radio, it's just not as uh, straightforward. But I can go ahead and sort of guide you through how to set that up as well. So if you want a variable camber, you're going to have to um, basically set up some mixing. So we need to find the uh, mixing menu here, which I th oh yeah, program mix right here. So it's in the second page of the function menu, and we can add uh, a mix here. Okay, so let's go ahead and start setting up for our variable camber on a slider. So we're in the program mix menu here, and we're going to set this up. So first thing I'm going to hit is the first button, which is the master, and then I'm going to hit this uh, button that says function, and we're going to change this to device. And now I'm going to select the right slider on the radio, you can select the left or the right, or even a switch if you want, or whatever you want, a knob, what have you. Um, I like to use this left slider for my motor, so uh, we're going to do the right slider here. So we'll select this guy, should turn blue, and that's about it. We'll go back, and now the slave. We'll set up the slave, and there's a few different ways to do this, but I'm going to show you the individual way first to um, basically slave all four wing surfaces, or six, or however many you have, to the slider. So we're gonna, again, we're going to go hit this function icon here, and I'm going to change this to channel. And uh, let's see, left aileron's already selected, so that's fine. We'll leave that alone, and we'll go back. And then I'm going to change this from the normal mix menu to a curve. And I think I've already messed with this, so there's already a value here. But if I move the slider all the way down, you see I inputted a negative 60 here. And I think I put the middle at 30. Yep. Okay, so that's, that's giving us... Uh, Linear movement, but actually that's going the wrong direction, so let me go ahead and uh, fix that. So we'll take the middle one, and we'll just clear this out, and we'll go positive 30, and then we'll go over here to the low, and we'll clear that out, and we'll take that to 60. And now that's giving us uh, some movement. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set up uh, the next one. We're essentially going to have to do this four times. So we'll go ahead and we'll just run through this again. We're going to go to device. Again, we're going to select this guy here. And we'll go back. Select our slave. Change this to channel and we'll select the right aileron, we'll go back, go to curve, and again we're going to enter, we'll just enter 60 here just to keep it consistent, and we'll do the uh, middle There we go, and now we should have both ailerons dropping. And although this seems like a, a little bit of a hassle, uh, the advantage of this is you can tune each surface and really get them matched up nicely. So that's one benefit there. And there's, there's also other ways of um, matching up the surfaces using uh, like a balance function. Uh, we can get into that later. So we need to set up uh, the flap as well, so we're going to go master type, again device, we're going to select slider here, and we'll go back, set up the slave, we're going to need channel, 
and we'll select left flap, yes, curve. And again, we're gonna drop the slider all the way down and adjust the, the low output here. So I guess we'll just match it up somewhat with the aileron. That turned out to be 80 or 80-ish, and we'll do the same the middle point here and that should have set up the left surface so just one more add one more yes same thing I know it's kinda of repetitive but uh, you know you guys get the idea here Channel and we're going to go to right flap, curve, again drop the slider, and do this as 80 as well, just so everything has the same values, but on your model these values might be much different. So here we go, now we have variable trailing edge camber here and if we wanted to uh, we could um, have this activated by uh, flight mode so you could just select the flight mode here and um, that would allow you to have like elevator presets and all that um, if you want to trim in some perhaps some down elevator uh, it would just be the same thing really you could just add a new mix so we're gonna set it up sort of similar so we're gonna go here select device and we're gonna click on this guy here and this time we can leave um, we can leave this in function and just hit elevator here and then we can do a curve and now if we move let's say move our slider all the way down we can put a value here for the elevator I'll just exaggerate it and go 50 and do this guy at 25 so now we have some down elevator mixed in and uh, you can tune this up you know when you do some test flights so that's the first way to add in a variable camber with a slider there is a uh, alternate way so we're gonna go ahead and uh, add a mix and we're going to keep this master as device P, which is that uh, right slider. And we're going to select flapper on here. And let's do this on a curve. So now both my ailerons are moving together can't see it on the camera but they're both moving um, they're moving the wrong direction so I'll just go ahead and take this to negative and we'll do the uh, middle value so now instead of having two different um, mixing program mixes we just have one for the ailerons, so we can go ahead and do the same thing um, for the flaps. So P is fine, we'll leave that alone, and we'll go over here, we'll change this to function, and we'll select flap, go back, we'll need a curve, and now our flaps are moving, they're going the wrong direction, so let's go ahead and tune that up. We'll clear this out. 
and about 90 looks okay and we'll adjust the middle value here let's say to 45 okay so now we have a variable camber on a slider just using uh, two mixes instead of four uh, this is a little easier way of doing this, but we lose some of that independent control uh, over our trailing edges. Somehow we have too much flap here, so let me go take some of this out. Okay, and if we wanted to uh, do the same elevator mix, uh, we would just do it the same as we did the first time, just add another mix and um, go slider to elevator, and you can get some elevator compensation that way. That basically covers um, camber for sailplanes. One thing I want to show you here is um, the balance feature, and you can use this to sort of line up your surfaces whether it be your landing flaps landing. or camber uh, camber settings. So in the function menu, you can go ahead and click output curve here and select uh, whatever you like. So let's, let's, let's just select, uh, I don't know, right aileron here, right? And if you were to go into a camber preset. Thermal one. And let's say that we wanted to move uh, move the surface to line it up better with the flap, right? We could just add a point. The red line is where our current preset is, so we could add a point here and we could adjust this to better line it up with our flap. See, it kind of just nudges the output curve of that channel. Um, this is very useful for your landing flaps, so just clear this out and we'll play with that a little bit. So if I Cruise. drop my landing flap. Landing. So if I drop my landing flaps here, let's take it to like the stick at 50% and let's say that uh, our right flap's not quite lined up with our left flap. So we could go here and select the right flap and we can, uh, let me just move this so it's exactly 50%. Let's say we need a little more down flap in our right flap, so we can just select point one and uh, adjust the output here, you know, and tune in, tune in some more flap, and you could dial it in pretty precise. So that's that's a really convenient feature. And you can go through Let's say you can go through like 20, 20%, 20%, 50%, 70%, whatever, and make sure that uh, both your flaps are lined up all the way down so you don't get an imbalance, so you don't get any uh, roll input uh, when you drop your flaps. All right, that's basically it. I'm going to keep it kind of short. Um, just keep it strictly to the camber settings and reflex, uh, basically the wing uh, presets. I hope you guys found this video useful. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, I will see you in the next one.